Hello there. Today we will be testing uh, 1990 wireless Bluetooth headphones from Lidl and see what they are all about. Alright, so uh, this is the Silvercrest uh, True Wireless Bluetooth in-ear headphones. Uh, retail price $29.90. Uh, under Christmas Lidl had a coupon, so this was $19.90 and today we will be finding out how good these really are. Alright, so uh, these come with a charging cradle or it's not a cradle, it's a case these days and the phones are in there. Uh, the battery time um, is... <laughs> well, hello there. Um, Okay, so uh, you should be able to use these for four and a half hour and then the charging case can charge these for three times so there's a battery in there also. So overall it's quite good for you traveling and you don't have a charger available. It's good battery life at least on the package. Uh, they support uh, the Siri and the Google Assistant so you can use voice control. Very good. Uh, there's the playback controls, the answering the phone, changing volumes, everything like that. Should be quite good. Hmm. Let's open them up and test them. Hmm. Once again, I wasn't prepared for this. Hmm. Should we check the manual? Of course not. <laughs> not on this channel. Yeah, not really my agenda. <laughs> no, that's rather simple package. Well, we can't return these now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, USB A, USB C, charger, charging cable, 30 centimeters. It's a good that they ship these with different kind of uh, uh, earpieces, so you can choose. This, this will help them to be. You can find with these the correct correct fit for your ears. Mm. Uh, the box itself, what? Oh, nice little magnet. Hmm. Headphones come off that way. Yeah. So let's check the extra ear pieces. Usually I have to use the biggest one. Biggest ones available and well let's go with the ones that these are already chipped in. Uh, are these on by default? Let's see. We will pair this with my iPad and let's test this. I think we have to charge the batteries. We'll come back to this one later on. All right, about an hour later, uh, the, uh, the device wasn't charged at any level, so I had to charge it for a while. Uh, it's not still fully charged, but it should work now. Uh, one interesting thing that I noticed that this actually supports wireless charging. So you can wirelessly charge, charge the cradle or the case for the headphones, which is quite good. But it's not a fast charging. You have to remember that. Let's try this again. There's power, there's light. I hear something. Let's give it a test. This is so stupid. Hmm? <laughs> it's paired no twice. <laughs> right one separately, left one separately. <laughs> oh, that's why the lights aren't flashing anymore. <laughs> this can't be correct. <laughs> it says that the both ones have same name and both ones are connected. But okay, I didn't know that could be done. It was difficult, but it works now. At least something works today. Mm -hmm. 
on the road, it will change the earpieces. Adding the changing the rubbers, it's annoyingly <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Yeah, these have the playback controls here on the side, but pressing here it will stop and pause it. Mm. Yeah, the bigger ones fit better for my ear. Like, like I noted that there are three sides of these. Not bad, sound quality. Yeah. I have to check from the manual and I have to check one thing from the box. Oh crap, I can't read it because I broke that. <laughs> yeah. The setup was a little challenging, but it might be just to my anti Midas touch mm -hmm. that this didn't work. Uh, with the bigger uh, silicon buds, they fit quite nicely to my ear, and sound quality was surprisingly good considering the price. Mm. So, even though we had some issues, I would still recommend these for 20 euros. Mm. It's a good, good small wireless buds that has, has the wireless charging also in the cradle, so that's one good extra in my opinion. Mm. Good. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed my misery. <laughs> I enjoyed it also. <laughs> Until next time. Thanks for watching.